Hello everyone, welcome back to Stupid Peeps. Today I'm going to be uh, recording a tutorial for all you people who don't know how to drive in Riverdale, which has recently became a game, f uh, which recently has become free drive. Now, I know um, I don't really have a reason why I've been away for... Uh, who knows? I haven't uploaded a video in, let's say, ages. So, let's say this is a some kind of comeback. So, today I'm going to be teaching you how to play or drive in River Ale. Now, in this game, I have seen many, 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 many people in the chat say, how do I drive? How do I do this? How do I do that? Today, this video is going to cover that. First thing you want to do is obviously become part of the staff team and then obviously become train crew. After that you'll get your T key and your muscle key. T key is for guarding. Uh, don't really know if I'll cover that in another video. If you want me to cover that in another video then I will do so. Scroll press equals to uh, put on my headers. You won't be able to do that as a passenger but since I'm staff I can. Uh, I just want to uh, let's start by spawning units. So you'll see this sign post here. You're going to want to put in the number. So let's say you could do 508 111, or if you want 507, then you could do 507. It has to be 0211. No, sorry, 0 to like 21. But if it's 508, you need a number afterwards rather than 0. So we'll just do 507001. Spawn that. There we go, we've got our unit. So our unit spawned in. Now you can either press E, which I prefer. It's a bit harder, but you can do that. Or, as you'll see very faintly, a little circle there. Which you just click and then close that behind you. Sit in here. And just you want to hold your master key. Actually, no, don't do that. You just press H four times. See that moving there? So four times, put it onto tail only. And you can hop out. Open the door again. Pop out, close the door. And you want to run over to the other end over here. Come over here. Open this door, obviously. Now, this is where it starts to get complicated. So you want to hold your master key and then press X. That's X to put your master key in and out. So then you put that in there. And then this is called the reverser. Now, this reverser requires the master key to be in for it to move. So R is to move the reverse up. You can see O, that stands for off, it's currently in that position. If I move it down one, that arrow, that arrow pointing up, that that that's um forward, N for neutral, and then that down arrow for reverse obviously. So I'm gonna put into neutral because we're not moving yet, are we? So if I press F two times to go down. And then here's the AWS. So if you press Q or reset it, you get sunflower here. That's all good. Now behind you, you'll have this big switch here. You just want to click that, and that will turn all the power on and everything. I specifically like to turn on these. You can zoom out and make it easier. I specifically like to turn on these lights. It's quite nice. And um, put these on mark and not day. You put them on day once you've left the depot. This don't need anything. The only time you're ever going to need this is if there's a signal that's been read for ages. You click that. It says no available signal because you can't signal manually in this game anymore. So attempting to update signal automatically. And then if there's some kind of broken signal and yeah, there you go. Then um, it will do that. So then what you're going to want to do is I'm going to start by doing this here. So starting signal, you can do this anywhere. It's not just in the depot. If we go over here, you just do is an any signal, it doesn't have to be a station signal or a depot signal. And obviously this is our signal. It's currently green because there's no trains in front. BD2, that's what we do. Now this dash and also capital letters we need to remember. Okay, so BD dash two stands for Birkenhead or Birkenhead Depot dash two. So that's signal number two of Birkenhead Depot. 
we'll put in our master key again. Cancel the AWS. And we're going to put in BD in capital letters. Not like this. It's to be in capital BD2. And click set. Signal set. Root code. This will pretty much be all the time unless you want to go somewhere special. Just click 111. So you want 111 as your root code. That's all good. That's set. You can now close that and you don't have to do anything with that ever again. I'm pretty sure, now you've done that, let's take a look at this module. Now, it w it's really helpful if you're in the Discord server, because then you can find the file where there's loads of root codes. Basically, some basic ones is 000, zero is not in service. 001 is empty to depot, 0419 is New Brighton, and 0411 is Liverpool Central, Wasley Grove Road is 0417, and Birkenhead North is 0416. So I'm just going to put it in not in service for now, uh, and I'm pretty sure we're ready to go, so we're going to take off our brake, put it in neutral with the R key. Now, brake is A and D, so A to take off brake, D to apply brake, and then to forward is basically really simple, W and S, so S to remove power, W to put on more power, so we put it into one notch, and you can see up there is a 5 miles an hour sign, so we're just going to go 5 miles an hour, so 5 miles an hour is all you need here, and uh, There's a little 15 miles an hour sign up there, so once you pass it, once the rear end has passed that post, you can speed up to 50 miles an hour. Got a clear signal. If there was a white and a red uh, colour light, then that means you couldn't move. You'd spad. Spad, um, meaning signal passed at danger, or signal passed at red, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to click the quick quickly click that so that I don't get stuck. Yeah. No, no mind okay, that's fine. Oh of, of course. Of course. Never mind. If you are staff and you manage to be able to spawn um, the pride unit, which is one one nine, then just make sure you click this switch to make sure that it makes it so it goes that way. So that the pride unit can come out from here out into here. That'd be great. Just come out here, there's the 15 miles an hour sign there. Just there. So I'm just going to continue along here. We are obviously not in service, not in passenger service. That's Birkenhead North 1, or BN1 signal, BN-1. If you ever get stuck there, just put in BN1 as your start code, your signal code. I'll teach you about some other areas. TPWS, if you're ever at a red signal uh, and you're too lazy to wait, or there's actually a problem with the signal and it won't change, they can always click on this orange square and then whatever red signal you pass, it won't stop your train. Which is amazing. Uh, wipers don't work, obviously. There's a reason for that. It'd be a bit weird if they were. DRA, you can press Y to enable or just click it, which is a bit harder when you're moving. DRA is basically to warn you if there's a red signal ahead. Like you put it on yourself. So we can now put it into notch 2 and go to 15 miles an hour. Continue going 15 miles an hour. So accelerating to 15 miles an hour. Here is the depot ending um, signal. This is BDJ4, uh, BDJ-4, so Birkenhead Depot Junction 4, or Birkenhead Junction 4, there you go, you see that. And we've got the feather light there, indicating that we are going to the uh, right. So that way, to, uh, upwards, is towards Upton and Bidston, which is locks off to all people who aren't, like, high ranks. And then over to the right here, 
is obviously the main line towards uh, New Brighton and all the Wallaceys and the, you know all the Wallaceys you can think of. Now that sign just back there is 25 miles an hour, because so speed up 25, and this is 30, so as we pass that we can go to 30. We've now passed that, so we can go to 30. Now this S car marker is so you're not, you know, fully parked across the whole of uh, Birkenhead Junction, so you can turn around. It's 30 miles an hour. There is also a 45 miles an hour sign. Don't go 45 an hour, 45 miles an hour. Go to 40. There's a little that little one right there is 40, right there. If you're liking this game so far, uh, please leave a comment to um, suggest more things on this video. Maybe you want me to do a time lapse of a video uh, of me driving around. But this is basically a tutorial on what to do. So. There's a 45 miles an hour sign, we can now speed up to 45. We are not in service, for them, so we're not stopping at Wallasey Village, which is the next stop, as well as Wallasey Grove Road. I will at the end put on some. and show you some pictures of documents that you might want or need like I don't know like a timetable so you can put in a designated time for you to leave uh, route codes and um, train FX codes so this as well as uh, these here as well as well as um, fleet numbers so you can find out which one you want so I'm going to stop here uh, this bridge is pretty important. If you're coming down here and you're stopping at Wallasey um, Grove Road, just look look out for this bridge. Once you go under that bridge, you should probably start slowing down. So just 45 miles along this whole route. I think the only time it speeds up is around the um, Birkenhead Park area, between Birkenhead North and Birkenhead Park. That goes up to 60, and I think that's the highest speed you can go. I'm going to start slowing down to 40 now, because we're coming up to Birkenhead North, not Birkenhead North, New Brighton. I get them sw switched up because BN and NB is the little code thing, so New Brighton and Birkenhead North. I get them switched up sometimes, it's quite annoying. Now up here, this next signal up here, it's going to be, it's always going to be yellow or red because there's a train on both platforms, or a train ahead or whatever. So you always want to be prepared when going over this AW, AWS ramp there. So when once you go over it, the AWS will sound. So press Q to cancel that, and you can see NB3, New Brighton 3, that is three, platform 2 we're going to, was yellow. I'm just going to slow down a bit, hold on, and I always need to slow down because this sign here is 50 miles an hour. Slow it down a bit more. Go. It's going to platform two, that's this one over here. And then we'll turn around, go to Wallasey Village, do a, some kind of passenger service, and then go to uh, the depot, which I'll show you as well. Now, I'd only recommend going to the depot. If you're, you know, if there's not many people there, or if you're in a private server. So this is going to slow down to around 10 miles an hour. Don't be scared, you can go quite fast up to these buffers, as the train brakes are quite good. I almost forgot, make sure to turn on your day headlights rather than your markers when you come out of the depot. Right, so slow down there. Lovely. Okay, right, so we're going to put max brake on, that's really good. And then we're going to put this into off above the O. Then we're going to take out our master key with X. Turn off the foot warmer, demister, um, and stuff like that. 
put this to tail lights, press it two times. Uh, that's all good. We can now get out, or open the door, and close the door again. I'll hop round to the other side, and this time I'm going to show you some kind of root code thing. I'll put this on here, close this here. Remember, I'm going to get my master key out, X to put it in, put it into neutral. I'm going to get that. The starting signal on platform 2 is MB1. Don't get that mixed up, it's not MB2. MB2 is on platform 1, I know it's confusing. So NB1 is on this platform. And then the root code is always 111. Now I'm going to put these into day. I'm going to turn on all these. And then we're going to set, set up this. So we're going to cancel that because we're not in because we are not not in service anymore. So we're going to put in set destination. The destination for today will be 0417 because we're going to Wallace Village. 0417. Send that. You can see that's gone to Wallace Village. And our start location is 0419. That is Burke, uh, That's um, New Brighton. Is 0419. We don't want to um, turn in journey. Gonna click cancel. Start time. We don't want anything. Just click send. Wallasey Village. Gonna open the doors. We'll leave in around 30 seconds. So you just. Uh, I don't. I believe there's no key bind for this uh, to open the doors, but there is a key bind for closing them. That is K. I believe K. So I think we'll go now. Close the doors and I'll put it into forward now. Also remove two steps of break and then once the interlock light has gone out there or in, I guess. Remove our brake. I'm gonna go two two notches and then I'll go to fifteen miles an hour. Now we are in service, so I'll go to stop at Wallacey Grove Road and Wallacey Village only. Here, so yeah, MB1, MB2. Just imagine like you're in in the platforms one, two. It's very simple. One, two. If you're facing that way, that's platform one. That's platform two. If you think about it, it makes sense in that way. So there's a 45 miles an hour sign. Now I'm just going to teach you, just so you get confused. I've had a lot of people who have taught. They're saying, oh, these are like fraction boards. They're not. Simple thing, so you have 20 on top, 45 on the bottom. 45, so the top one, so 20, is for freight trains only, or you know, charter trains or anything that's not passenger service. The bottom one, 45, is passenger, so we can now go to 45 and not 20 because we're not freight. So the bottom, you just ignore the top, just always look at the bottom. Next up is Wallace Grove Road. Didn't need to put a brake there. I always get brake in there, I've got it mixed up. Take that to zero throttle now, because we're at 45 miles an hour. Now don't worry, you don't need to like keep adding the throttle because it always because there's no friction physics in this game. It always stays at the speed. Now getting into the depot is always a bit buggy. So I wouldn't recommend going from Birkenhead North. I'd always recommend going to film one second, so slow down now. I am going to overshoot a little bit, but I'm not the best at stopping. You just need to kind of learn the trend breaks. Open your doors, put it into neutral. Whenever you're stopped, put it into neutral. I don't really want to keep you guys waiting, so I'll just go now, put it into forward. 
Only two steps break. And go. Full throttle. Next station is Wallasey Village. And basically what you'll do, if you if you're not in a private server and you know you've got passengers, then you, I you can go through the train and check thoroughly and ask for people to leave. However, if you have a guard, the guard will do this for you. Just to continue, I am going to go 40 miles an hour from the station. Now, Wallasey Village is very close, so just don't go too speedy. It's obviously since there's no one here, I'm not going to thoroughly check the train. I'm just going to slow down. Slow down a bit more than me and don't overshoot. I, I, okay, that's the first time I've overshot Wallasey Village. Okay, I'm kind of annoyed at myself now. I'll just open the doors, it's fine. Right, put it into neutral. Everyone gets off, everyone gets off, gets, gets off. I'm going to close that, put it into forward. Now, you don't want to move forward quite yet, you need to set this so that you go into the depot. Now, this signal here is Wallasey Village 1, so WV. One, set that, and then the route code to go into the depot is zero zero zero. We'll set that, move the brake, and off we go. Hopefully this works. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just for safe measures, I would recommend. Just putting it as, I don't know, BN1 and 111. Okay, now put it as Wallasey Village 1 zero, zero, zero. Just, just in case, because you never know what might happen. Sometimes it doesn't look like, it doesn't like to work. Once you head into the depot, put your lights to markers. I'm going to go 40 miles an hour from now on, because it's a 40 minute mile per hour sign just up there. I see a big black dot. Sign is just here. As you can see here. 40 at the bottom, 20 at the top. We are passenger service, so we're at the bottom, so 40 miles an hour. We've got 30 miles an hour warning sign. These triangle boards, these yellow triangle boards, are warning signs, not an actual speed limit. We've sold out to 35 there. And then the speed limit just this before. Now the signal is yellow, so that's good. We are going to sit up here. 30 miles an hour. Now, don't be warned that this next signal is red. Some sees on the yellow. It's always good news when you see a yellow signal there and you're on a private server. Let's slow down to 25 miles an hour. Now you'll see a red signal up here. And you're probably wondering why is there a red signal? And there's clearly no other trains here. You can see, obviously there's a D sign for depot, but there's a red signal. You see that little sign there? That's clear, so we just go straight past it. It doesn't apply to us. See? Now my little sign is gone. Now other people can't pass. Now I haven't used TPWS. Because that little white light was on the side, that means I could pass. So always watch out for that. Don't be fooled. Now, here is a 15 miles an hour sign. Not that one, this one up here. Let's go down to 15 miles an hour. Coming over to this side. Hey guys, since we're coming to the end, uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, give it, give it a like and consider subscribing, it's free. 
and uh, you can unsubscribe at any time. If you like my content, uh, then you can always uh, support me in the comments. And if you have any other ideas for games or any ideas in this game, then you can also tell me in the comments, and I will be, I will appreciate it very much. So just pulling into the depot here. Now, this is, I'm gonna let you on a little secret. You see how? You know when you come up to here, or here, and there's like a 50 mile an hour sign, there's no 5 mile an hour sign, so technically you're legally allowed to come into the depot at 15 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. Technically not, but you technically are, because no one told you to go 15, uh, 5 miles an hour down here. Just a reminder, just to get you into the depot a tiny bit more quickly. Now, I wouldn't recommend, like I said before, I wouldn't recommend going into the depot with a full server, with everyone waiting, going, oh, you know, I want to spawn, don't just drive your train into here, because there's going to be loads of people spawning, it's going to be huge chaos. So I recommend just deleting your train anywhere. Now, the thing is, is you don't have to stop perfectly, because if you just eventually stop at the end, you'll just, like, crash in and you'll be perfectly stopped. So yeah, you can actually get out when the railings aren't blocking you. Slow down to five miles an hour here, and you are free to just crash into the buffers, put on that max brake, turn the train off, turn this off, turn headlights fully off, go to the back. Turn these headlights off. And that, my friends, is you done. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like, as I said before. <coughs> and as, you know, I haven't uploaded in the video, I'm sorry. I'm quite very much sorry. Um, I'll try to upload more, but if not possible, then... Um, thing. Also, quick... Uh, little thing, if you ever want to delete your train, uh, make sure your master key is in. It's just this little bin icon in the GUI, GUI here. Just click that, and that, your train will disappear, and it's all gone. And now, you know, other people are free to spawn. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like. Make sure to subscribe if you like my content, and always give me more suggestions for videos. As always, stay stupid. Bye.